Hello guys, today we are gonna open the HP Elite Book 840 Generation 1 to replace the thermal paste into the processor and show you how to disassemble this PC. So let's begin. First, we are gonna unlock the PC from upstairs and just remove the lid. Now we have a lot of screws inside and outside. The outside are covered in the uh, in those plugs. So we need to remove the SD card cover and then remove the uh, RAM on your choice. Disassemble the uh, and then just slide it from this place and that's it. Lift it up. There you go. The SD the hard drive is out. After the uh, hard drive. We need to open these screws that they are in here. Just insert a little thing. I have this little screw. Just insert it and remove and remove this plastics cover. Put them aside. In here you have two type of screws you have this on shape of a star on the shape of a star and you've got normal one which is the normal screwdriver so just open this on the SS on the SD card side just bring Now we are finished from the outside. Now let's go to the inside. In the inside, you've got these two screws over there. Just open them. Don't put the magnet near here because it's gonna be a problem. Because you got the motherboard and the WLAN chip, if you don't want to lose. Now, let's switch to this one. You've got here screw. Just open it. It's not gonna come uh, come off. And you've got another one here. They are for the keyboard and catching the, the outside layer there. Now we've got the last one over here. Okay. And now we've got these small Last one, as I hope, over there. I don't think that I forgot anything. There we go. Now the plastic is off. Now we've got a clear sight. We want to change the thermal paste in here. Here is the processor. So we need to remove the van, the fan, not the van. And you've got here this little thing. Just remove it like this, and the van, and the fan will come off easily. And then you've got four screws. All right, Bismillah. Here we go. There we go. Here is the processor. And let's bring a cloth or anything to wipe the old paste. Sorry guys, the video stopped when I put the thermal grease and this is the one that I used. I just used a fine line not to ruin the whole processor and then smashed it with the uh, cooler. After you screw it, 
I'm gonna unscrew it to show you how it's gonna look. There we go, it will look like this. Spread nice and even on the top of the both those uh, brass or two cores. There we go. Everything is tight and secure. Okay, let's put the fan back. Okay. Okay, everything is tight and secure. Just double check it. Now let's put the lid back. All right, so there is something confusing on, on here. There is this part I'm gonna show you. These two, they need to screw, they need to catch in this part. Because if you don't do that, the keyboard will stuck out and you will have a big trouble putting it back. So, let's try to... Just push the keyboard from the back side and everything gonna be good. So first of all, I'm gonna catch, first of all, I'm gonna catch the, uh, what's it called, the touchpad. The touchpad have four screws, which is one, two, three, four, no, five, six, six screws to hold the touchpad. Everything looks nice. Now let's screw the keyboard back over there and then the keyboard again from over here. Let's check the keyboard if it is actually screwed or not. So, yep. If you didn't catch the other one, here you will have a bulging and that will be a problem. Alright, let's continue. Uh, And put it back the RAM and the hard drive. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I see you on the next one. Peace.